Alright, what's up guys? Um, today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a different style of video. Um, if you guys seen my last one, I had the 2004 LB7 Duramax. I did a little walk around to edit with it, but I ended up selling that. And so today, I get to take this beast right here, and I'm flying out to Idaho to pick me up a new truck. Um, I'm not going to tell you what it is yet, you'll have to see it later on in the video. But it should be a fun truck, seems to be pretty quick. And then I'll, yeah, once we get to Idaho, I'll drive it back to Utah. I'll film a little bit around the truck and show you guys, show you around it, give you a little tour and go from there. Okay. Watch your face. Remember how the seat belts work? Down around your shoulders. Uh huh. What's up guys? So this is the truck I was telling you about that I was going to Idaho for. It's a 2005 Dodge Cummins um, with a lot of fun stuff that's been done to it. I'll you know, give you a little tour around the truck. We got our 20 by 12 fuel wheels with brand new Toyo tires. It's got the 5 inch lift or 5.5 inch lift. We got the fast 150 lift pump which I'm super excited about. Um, you know, got the tow mirrors out because I heard with these bad boys flipped out, you gain horsepower. Um, cloth interior, it's got a little hole in the seat right here. Get that fixed. Needs a good vacuum still. Got the Edge CTS2 monitor, uh, boost gauge. I do not like where this is mounted, so I'll end up getting a pillar with the trans temp and all that other stuff so it looks a little more clean. And then, oh yeah, I'll show you under the hood where all the cool stuff is. Now, what's under this hood is one of the main reasons why I was so excited to buy this truck. And I flew all the way to Idaho to get it, to drive it back to Utah. And it is compound turbos. And if you don't know what that means, it's twins, two turbos, whatever you want to call it. Here is a stock turbo which is spooling up a 71 millimeter turbo. I probably can't even see that. It's kind of cloudy out right now. That's also why the truck's super dirty because it's been raining all day. But anyways, it has the compound turbos, the truck has head studs, the banks, Monster Ram as you can see, um, 100 horse injectors intake, and to hold all of this power it has a built trans, which is known as 
the golden nugget. It's probably pretty dark under here. Let me see. Let me grab my phone light real quick. I'll show you. All right, so there is the transmission. It's a stage two firepunk competition trans, and it is good up to a thousand horse, I believe. So I don't really have to worry about a trans going out anytime soon. Now that is one of the main reasons why I ended up getting this truck because in the beginning I wanted a six speed because I did not want to deal with a Dodge trans transmission whatsoever. But because I've heard I've heard nothing good about Dodge trannies and in my Duramax that I had I had the Allison great transmission. Never had any problems with it, but at the same time I didn't have a lot of power going to it. So yeah, this this firepunk trans should do me good. Truck's got you know aftermarket tail lights. Um, yeah, I'm all sorts of stoked on it. Still a couple things I need to do to it. I'm gonna put it on the lift. I'm gonna you know power wash the entire undercarriage, repaint everything. Um, might get these fenders repainted because I took off the fender flares because I just. I personally do not care for fender flares whatsoever. I just never been a huge fan of them. So I took them off and get those painted. Well, when I do these painted, I'll end up getting the mirrors paint matched and I'm gonna see if I can find me a sport front bumper and get that paint matched as well. I think it'll look real sharp. Meow. Yeah, I'll, I'll be doing updates with the truck every time I do something new to it. I'll, I'll show you guys. So. Like and subscribe, stay tuned, check out my other videos, and yeah, thanks.